Oh, that's recording. Excuse my puppy. He's calling puppy. <laughs> okay, right there. That's dirty. Sweet, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's recorded, right? All right, guys, so uh, today's the next day. God damn it. Well, it's not the next day, but we're here at In-N-Out because, you know, a good hard working day deserves In-N-Out. But um, we're actually going to talk to you guys about how hard or how easy the job was. But before that, just, just try and try smack, bro. Was it easy? Was it hard? Fuck to it. No. <laughs> no, we won't simple. talk or no, we won't. <laughs> Not that. I mean, it was fairly simple. It was like just a few bolts, pretty much. But what was the hardest side? It was the passenger side. The yeah, passenger side. That didn't suck. Yeah, definitely the front passenger side. Uh, we literally had to go to Les Schwab, Les Schwab over there in Elk Grove, just to seek for help because we had no other choice but to actually ask for help. You know. But uh, the man that had the most elbow grease was Anthony. So let's let's have him speak on his behalf. That front passenger was stupid crazy. <laughs> Big facts. The way that the drive shaft would touch up against the sway bar linkage. We couldn't get enough play in it. And by the time we got enough play in it, like you said, you had to take it to the Schwab. Because the damn... What is it called? The carriage bolt at the top. The damn carriage bolt wouldn't come off. That's what it's called, the carriage bolt. Because it's that one where it got the hex head on the inside and then you had to unloosen it while you hold the end. It's stupid. Yeah. It's dumb. Why do you think that didn't happen on the driver's side though? I don't know. For the angle? It could be the angle of things and the way the way it came out. But I think you taking your mirror to the other side is basically backwards. Mm -hmm. Easiest? By far the rear passenger was the easiest and gave the least amount of trouble. Uh -huh. The most <laughs> learning part of it was the front passenger. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that one sucked. It was, it was I, I'm fairly simple. I was telling Fernando over here at the car, I was like, man, if I would have known how fairly easy it was, I would have done the lift in Judy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna do the lift of mine. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna do right? Fernando's lift. We're gonna put Fernando on what? Four inches? <laughs> Three inches? Yeah, I have to hop to get inside. Well, that's what you get the steps for. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> yeah, but I just feel like the only thing that could have been easier, obviously, if we had the opportunity to do so, was to have like an actual garage with a lift. I feel like. I don't know if that would make anything for easier. For the rears, maybe. But for the front, because you had to get into the engine compartment right. in order to do it. Well, what would have made it easy? They sell socket tools where the end of the socket is open and it's like a ratchet goes over it. So you're ratcheting it, but it's open so you can shut the... Right. And it's made specifically for stuff like that. If we had that... You wouldn't have needed to take it to Les Schwab. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I could have gotten it out. We just had nothing to get down into that, that slot just the to impact. hold that bolt yeah. and hold that hex head at the same time. At the same time. Right. So, yeah, proper tools have made it easier. It made it a lot easier. <laughs> I mean, it's also the, the strength of mm. oh, yeah. The first one that we had, it wasn't even meant for it. Right, Keynote, sure guys. Right. Keynote is to absolutely get the right spring compressor. Because if you guys don't get the right spring compressor, what you're going to have to do is obviously get the right one. Go back and change it. Precisely. For the right precisely. One. And it's just going to prolong the whole process. Our goal today was actually to hit four hours tops. And it would come in half a day. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit more than four hours, I think. Yeah. We started roughly around like 8.40. Yeah, we, we got there at Treehouse at 8.30. Oh, well, I guess it was about four hours. You Is take it? The, you take the sit time away from when you went to the first time oh, yeah. you left to go get the spring compressor, you take that time away. Because we didn't do anything when you were gone. Mm -hmm. So it was about four hours. 
lowered a car in four hours. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you too. have we ever done it before? Absolutely not. I mean, I've um, never been that far into suspension in any vehicle. <laughs> but I'm going to start. I fucking love it in now. I could literally eat this shit every day. Bruh, same. Stuff every day. If you guys want to rate this burger, ten. I love In and Out. Okay, let's say ten right now. But well, once we taste other burgers, burger spots, will this still hold its place? Yes. How about you, Fernando? In and Out will always have a place in my heart. I give it a solid nine. A nine? I like it. Blasphemy. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> 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 you said we have a word. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, you talk about a dagger to the heart. <laughs> Wiggle it around a little bit. I've been shot. Why not perfect? Yeah, sucker. Why not perfect, huh? Why, why, why didn't you give it a 10? A 10? Uh, yeah. It was a little too soggy. Uh, well, we had to wait so long for uh, AJ to set up the camera. I call you AJ or do I call you Austin? I don't know. Is that Austin is like a pet name? Is that a pet <laughs> <laughs> Only people that would call me Austin if they're completely pissed off at me. <laughs> nah, no, she said your full name. <laughs> Austin James? Oh, James. <laughs> I didn't know that was your last name. James. I didn't know his name was Austin and everyone started coming through the fucking app like Austin this, Austin that. And he's coming through, who's Austin? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm Austin. And I'd be super lost. I was like, yeah, you know, someone can fill me and that'd be great. But anyway, we're going to finish up because I don't know if you guys can hear us right now because it's super windy over here. Once we do get to the cars um, and be in the sun more, we're going to go try and speak to you guys more. Until then, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Uh, did you just flip the camera off? I went pizza. Oh, oh. What's up guys? So you guys have reached it to the end of the video. As you guys saw, we finally had a mukbang with me, Austin, Anthony, and Fernando. I also want to give a big shout out to every single one of them for helping me in my car. I hope you guys enjoyed that little little segment of us talking about the car and the burgers also that is a sneak peek to what is to come along so comment down any burger spots that you guys know around the sacramento area down below because we're going to start doing this we're going to start rating burgers having a good time and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed that and as of right now that's it I hope you guys really enjoyed this video once again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come on guys, it's on a journey. But like always, stay positive and be awesome. Peace. Alright, straighten it out. Yep, straight back. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs>